there and on Sunday night, you might recall protesters in attendance near the police operations center were read a statement from police chief Vince Niski. He urged calm and told protesters he understands their frustration. But besides that statement read through a bullhorn by one of his sergeants, we really haven't heard from the chief at all until this afternoon. And News Channel 13's Julia Donovan joins us live from downtown tonight with the chief's latest reaction to the ongoing demonstrations. Julia. Yeah, Chief Niski expressing his regret for not reaching out to the public sooner during his press conference inside of the police operations center here today. His first since the protests here over the killing of George Floyd begin began. Niski commended the peaceful protesters we've seen during the day so far, but said the violence at night here at the police station needs to stop. He said Saturday night was the most violent night in his 31 year career with Colorado Springs police. People throwing bottles and rocks at officers and at the police station and shots fired at a police cruiser. Niski said that's why officers let off tear gas and used their rubber bullets to disperse the crowd past midnight. While Niski said he was behind the decision and the other decisions involving the response to, to violence the last few days, he said he wishes he had spoken directly to protesters and he acknowledged that could be the reason the protests continue. I do think that my delay has caused, I don't want to say violence, I just think it has created a more of a need by the protesters to get their message out because they don't believe they're being heard by us. So I, I do think it's impacted. I don't want to say that it's impacted the violence. Chief Niski said if the protests keep getting dangerous at night, he'll request the mayor to issue a citywide curfew, something the city has already said it would allow. Now, as of tonight, still no one here at the police operations center, no protesters yet. But as we've said before, it starts downtown and the protests tend to come here later at night. So we'll have crews here tonight for a live update again at 10 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13. Rio Grande certainly looks a lot different than it normally does. Julia, thanks.